It was one of the uh, happiest moments <laughs> of my life aside from when I had him. <laughs> it was definitely an experience I would tell every church should just be a part of. We walked into the uh, room and there was probably about 15 people <laughs> sitting around the table and um, they, <laughs> they were all just smiling really big and I sat down in the chair. They, they told me to sit down in the chair right at the head of the table. <laughs> and then Helen slid a folder across the table to me and she said, here you go, there, there's a, the rest of uh, the papers that we needed you to sign are in there. And I opened the folder and <laughs> I get emotional talking about it every time. But the, right as I opened the folder, there was my application with the big red approved. <laughs> stamped across it and even though I knew <laughs> what they were doing before I ever walked into the office I still sat there <laughs> and bawled like a baby for about three minutes <laughs> while 15 strangers stared at me. <laughs> when we were approached the summer of 2017 um, I had personally never done it i never been a part of a project like this um, we have a vision here in Madison Hills that we want to make an impact on the community and we want the community to know that they are welcome, wanted, and loved here in our church, and we want to have a great ministry with them. So anything that we can do, we wanted to be a part of that. When Habitat approached us, we just thought it was a great opportunity um, to touch the lives of another family and to you know, pitch in and help the best way that we could. I'm Esther McMillan, and this is my son. He wants to introduce himself, so. My name is Christian. is my pride and joy. <laughs> my name is Jeremy Walsh and I am the associate slash teen minister at Madison Hills Christian Church. I have always grown up poor in poverty. I was one of seven children <laughs> and so you know when you're there's seven kids it's, it's a little tough. Growing up in that situation really made me want to uh, make sure that, that my son could live better. It was so touching to us um, and to me personally to see how the lives were impacted. And, and that's what ministry is about. Like Jesus said, you know, throughout the Gospels, you know, if somebody needs a coat, you give it to them. If somebody needs food, you give it to them. And, and there are people that need, you know, housing and so you do your best to to go build those Habitat is one of those ministries, um, one of those organizations that definitely opens up the door for us to serve. And uh, so partnering with uh, uh, Habitat is a phenomenal experience. If you're a part of a church and if you have a church, you should go build a home for somebody. So, because it means a lot. For me, just sitting here and looking around and just imagining that right here where I'm sitting right now is going to be where my house is. It's going to be the place that I'm going to call home. It's going to be our forever home. 